Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here to talk about arm angle with rows. So not all rows are created equal and physique development starts or programs a lot of different types of rows. So today we're going to go over the difference between an upper back row and a rear delt row. So I'm going to have Coach Sue sit down for me and kind of turn away so we can start to see these fibers, how they line up and how we're going to be leveraging them and biasing them most within a row variation. So the first one we're actually gonna go over is the upper back row, which is going to be the highest arm angle and arm position that we're going to have. So as Sue starts to row back, this is gonna be directly in line with some of those rear delt fibers, but mainly those trap and rhomboid fibers that actually run horizontal and sort of transversely across the upper back. So in terms of going back here, so as she rows back again, we're looking to drive the elbows out and back. And then we're looking to end sort of with that retraction motion, motion using those traps and those rhomboids accordingly. So the difference here in the upper back row arm angle and the rear delt row arm angle is going to be ever so slight. Um, so the upper back is a little higher, okay? Somewhere around, I would say 90 degrees down to probably 75-ish degrees doesn't have to be exact, but kind of wherever you're comfortable, wherever you're able to get fully retracted and extended back with using those traps, those rhomboids, and some of those rear delts. So the rear delt arm angle is going to be closer to like a 45 degree angle is a good kind of place to start. So the big thing with the rear delt row angle and how it differs from the upper back is the rear delt fibers run in this plane. They run almost transversely, again, kind of horizontally up the upper arm, and they directly oppose those traps. So we want to kind of line those up in a way where we can get maximal shoulder extension, line up that upper arm with those rear delt fibers that are being directly opposed by those upper trap muscles. Good. And last thing I want to mention here, so a common mistake that we see among rear delt rows is going to be one stopping a little too short. And so if you're stopping short, you may not be in the right position. So if you're stopping short, you may need to adjust to be able to get a significantly more range, significantly more range of motion out of the movement because you're better lined up, not only within the shoulder joint, but within those fibers to fully row back. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in coaching, reading an article, or watching another video, check us out physiquedevelopment.com.